Athens, Georgia, the classic city, home to one of 16 regional sites for the NCAA tournament. It will finish with eight teams in Omaha chasing a national title. Florida State and Florida Atlantic going head-to-head -head in this one. Mike Martin with an exhale after understanding that Florida State was back in the big dance. And there was a reason for that. There were some question marks as to whether or not FSU would get in. Yeah, that exhale right now, or right there, tells a lot about it. Forgot First now. pitch blasted by J.C. Flowers, deep left center, and that got out in a hurry over the trees and gone. He's got 11 saves, so now he has 13 home runs. School record for Case. And Becker lifts one high and deep to right. Short ports there towards the scoreboard and off of it. Two run bomb for Tim Becker. His first home run of the season comes at a perfect time. Monday night. And this one's a towering shot to right. And that one is gone. Another home run for Florida State, their third this inning. Lake schedule that should be looked at. I just didn't see it with TCU. Do it again. Mendoza's going to send this, this one onto the hill. Watch this fly. Jeez. Man, they are majestic when he hits them. It's his second of the game, another two-run shot. Made it the big leagues with the Angels was a walkout. Not that name. Popped up. Center field. Look how. Rivera lost it at the wall. It's gone! He's done it again! Tim Becker had zero home runs in his FSU career. He's gone yard twice today. In the air, center field, Rivera to the track, to the wall. It is gone again. Two-run home run for the two-hole hitter, Reese Albert. Just that kind of day, it is not the day you want to be a fly ball pitcher because if, if there is backspin and it's in the outfield. It's fly ball center, Flowers frozen at first. He'll track it down, and that's how this game will come to an end. What a game it was. 13 runs on a season high, 20 hits for Florida State. Seven runs, nine hits, and two errors for Florida Atlantic. Another win for 11. All-time record holder and wins any sport in the NCAA. And he got a win out of his starter, Drew Parrish. Of a good high school team in the state of Florida. So Becker homered twice yesterday, and he skies this one deep to right field. King to the fence, and he did it again! Tim Becker with three career home runs, and they've come in the last two games. Come on, man. the payoff breaking ball foul territory I say fair pardon me and it turns Sullivan all the way around then he slips and couldn't make the catch from his backside a run's gonna come home JC Flowers scampers home with the go-ahead run for Florida State after Sullivan the shorthanded first baseman lost it yesterday he tracked the ball towards the scoreboard saw the pitcher's reaction knew it was special this is special He'll get home to Sados. They're going to send Smith. The throw to the plate is wide, and Tim Becker delivers again. Pulled to the left side. It'll get through Mendoza's score. Robbie Martin coming home. The throw's cut off by Shunk, 
And Florida State gets a two-run single from Nander De Sedas. He is three for three. This one's launched towards the scoreboard and right. King's going to run out of room. It's a three-run bomb, and it's all FSU tonight. That'll win any talent show. There's a talent right there. This one's launched deep left into the Georgia night. A two-strike swing that puts it in the parking lot for Mike Salvatore, his third hit. Swing and a miss, and that'll do it. Krakowski finishes it out. Nelson with a handshake for the umpire. And Florida State cruises to a 12-3 victory. Go in the first two rounds on that first day and said, time to go to college. High fly ball to left. King all the way to the wall. Florida State strikes first with a two-run shot from Reese Albert. And for the first time in his career, the junior was named ACC Player of the Week. Against the ship, it goes off of Shunk. Headed to third is Albert. The throw to second is way wide. Nobody on the right side of the infield. Albert will score. Mendoza ends up at third on a softly hit ball to the left side of the infield. Oh, yeah, they did. Oh, they did. Come on, man. This one's lifted to left center field. Long run. And that's past the reach of Maxwell. Carousel spinning for FSU. DeSeda scores. Carter Smith coming home. The throw is high. And Florida State gets a two-run double for Mike Salvatore to go up by the tournament. It looks like they will be the first to advance on to a super. Sullivan swings and misses. Flowers finishes it off. And Florida State going back to the Super Regional. The final ride is extended for 11. Breaking ball pulled to third. Knocked down by Hughes. Has no play elsewhere. And Florida State's on the board. The lower numbers were the lower sized jerseys. Pulled through the right side and a base hit for Tim Becker. Here's the payoff from Vittmeyer. Miss low. Eads, will you do it here with Big man on deck. Sticks with the fastball, and it's driven high and deep to right field. And he has done it. A tie game thanks to Albert's bat over the bleachers. A three-run shot. Continued to throw the fastball. Continued to throw the fastball in. And Albert hit it way over the bleachers into the new building. This one's lifted to left, pushing Cabrera back, looking to tag is Nelson. Catch made. Cabrera's throw comes down the line. Nelson, the catcher, beats the throw home. And Florida State has its first lead of the game. And he lifts another one high and deep to right field. Duplantis gets turned around. Can't find it because it's in the bleachers. Albert's done it again. Second home run of the game. pitch popped it up Nelson has a beat on it loses the mask and Florida State wins game one for the 40th consecutive season 40 wins for number 11 and one win away from a return to Omaha
Breaking ball to the right side. Beloso kicks the bag. Need to tag it home. And they got it for a second. And they'll say he's out. The ball came loose. Martin will go ahead and step on the dish. Home plate up by Tony Morris. Hey, KP, if you have say safe. safe. And he sends a line drive to left. J.C. Flowers will score. They'll stop Smith at third. And Florida State has jumped out to a 2-0 lead. And this flare is going to drop over the glove of Smith. Florida State out in front, 3-0 here in the second. He was named the Athens Regional Team. Had three home runs last weekend. And he slices this one to left. Nelson will be waved home from third. Becker on his way to second. He's done it again. Tim Becker with an RBI double. Club ball is going to become very pop. The 2-2 two -two to Mendoza. Oh, Line drive, down. base hit around third Salvatore. The throw never gets there. Mike Martin's going back to Omaha. Another chance at the brass ring. with the righty Scroggins on the mound. He's going back up the middle, off the bare hand. All oh, the time the ball is dropped. And Casey Martin may be hurt. His left hand was stung by it. Nelson back to him. He looks to third. Delayed throw to first, and he's now got his foot down on the bag for the out. 12 saves on the year for Cronin. He's been in every bad situation. This one is shallow right. Let's watch Flowers here. He'll tag. Here he comes to throw from Kerstad. Way up the line. The Nose are up one nothing into the third base. Safely goes Carter Smith. Deep enough to get the speedy J.C. Flowers home. And Mike Martin's team is up one to nothing. The bullpen. And now is trying to close it out. And he does. Mike Martin and Florida State, step one in this 2019 College World Series. They knock off mighty Arkansas one to nothing. That's it on his 100th pitch. Tommy Henry, complete game shutout. Michigan to 2-0. Swing and a miss. Texas Tech does it. For the first time, they win two games at the College World Series. They will play on. But for Florida State head coach Mike Martin, this is the end of the line. You won over 2,000 games. You came here 17 times, and yet you leave without a championship. What does the sport tell you about the difficulty of winning it all? Yeah, it, it's it's no doubt the most difficult, the most unpredictable sport. I mean, who would have ever thought six weeks ago that we would get to Omaha? I'm just so proud of the young men. They're obviously very disappointed now, but what they accomplished just will not go unnoticed to get to Omaha and have an opportunity. A lot of credit just goes to those young men and all the credit goes to our staff.